Hi there. This is a fine trap in the Tori attack and it's ridiculously called Sorry for the Tori. And it's named after the Philippine GM Eugene Tori, not to be confused with the Mexican GM Carlos Tori Repetto. After d4 and knight f6, knight f3, e6, bishop g5 is the Tori attack. And one way black can treat this is by playing c5. That's a good aggressive response challenging the center immediately and opening up a diagonal for the queen who often gets to b6 and hitting the b2 pawn so white supports the center with c3 but after c takes d4 and c takes d4 the queen makes her exit to b6 and hitting the pawn on b2 that can be defended by queen c1 which in turn is hitting the bishop on c8, so that has to be dealt with. Knight c6 is a solid response. The knight blocks the c-file. The rook obviously is defending the bishop now anyway. And the knight and the queen are hitting the pawn on d4. Well, that's going to be defended, so e3 does the job. But now queen a5, a rare move. I don't have this move too often in my database, but it poses a lot of questions to white. It's check. White's doing fine now. And the natural knight c3 or knight bd2 keeps white at least on even terms here. But black can continue aggressively with knight e4. Not only pinning the knight again, but more importantly, targeting the bishop on g5. That's going to drop back to f4. And black continues aggressively with g5, hitting the bishop again. Quite an interesting position. And black is pressing now but white can achieve equality with an unlikely looking move bishop c7 happily giving itself up to the queen under fire on a5 because if queen takes on c7 then white plays knight takes e4 with around equality but after g5 if the bishop drops back naturally to g3 then that pawn will push on to g4 and here black is actually clearly winning it's hitting the knight on f3, which defends the knight under fire on d2. So the knight on f3 is going to run. Here it runs to e5. Black will trade on e5. Knight takes e5. But after bishop takes e5, which hits the rook on h8, that rook really is irrelevant and inconsequential to the proceedings on the board because black will proceed with bishop b4 putting more pressure on this pinned hapless knight on d2. And here, that knight is dropping. Bishop takes d2 is the threat, which will pick up the queen. Here, white really has nothing. So let's just play a ridiculous move for white to show kind, some kind of pretty ending. If queen d1 is played, then black will win with bishop takes on d2. And now after king e2, Queen b5 is checkmate. So this has been Sorry for the Tory in the Tory attack. Thanks for watching. Bye.